back to our South Sea Let's Play, the South Sea Chronicles, the trials and tribulations of the tortured artist known as South Sea. Stereotypical tortured artist. So, we're about to launch our invasion of Wu. 60,000. Ooh. I kind of wanted to get a little bit more, but now nah, we'll just pull the trigger on it. I mean, I get, you know, you get impatient after a while. You want to see stuff. We're firmly in the lead now at this point. You know, once you get Northern Hei Bay, you know, the Yuan Prophecy, the Yuan Lands right up here, and you just sit here and you just collect, you know, you follow Tian Feng's uh, strategy. That he advised you on Chow, you know, don't go to war with South Sao, just build it up for for a year or two, you know, let your stuff take care of the crops and everything, and then we'll be able to just run everyone else over, run South Sao over. So, at this point, we're in position to just run away with the game. We have we have the troops now that we've got Brother Zhang has joined the fold. We have the generals, I mean, 78, that's just enough to push on a bunch of fronts at the same time. So we're going to advance in two directions at, at Sao Ren. First, we'll take Chen Liu in the center here, and then from here, we'll, you know, we'll branch off and just completely collapse his kingdom. And uh, more, for me at least, more interestingly, it's going to be crossing the sea and trying to overtake Wu. That's gonna be fun. Although it looks like we're a little bit late to the party, guys. Because Liu Bei and uh, Sa Ren have been doing their part, you know. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this one. I think this turn's already done. So next turn we'll start marching out. It's really something. I mean, it took just a little bit of, just, you know, six or seven months. And uh, we've started to run away with the game. Okay, that's fine. Just detain him. Is that a siege tower? Oh, he's breaking the camp, okay. Oh, what? We just got her. Okay, well. She was 60 years old, to be fair. There she goes. I had plans. I had plans for her, but... That's fine. Okay, let's see. Turn on my TV a bit. Those tunes are a bit too loud. Friendship with Wuhan. Okay, this gives me just more officers, right? I don't really think I need to trigger that. I don't think 3,000 is going to make a big difference, honestly. We just need to stay trusted with them so that they don't Start attacking our lands like they're doing to uh, Gong Zoom Gong up there. Because he is suffering. I mean, he's by himself, but still. Okay, so let's see. I could literally just throw money away at this point. We couldn't burn, we couldn't burn through it, you know? And that's really the thing about this romance. I feel like it's it's such a fine line between hard and veteran. I know I've said it a few times, but it really is.
These are all weird suggestions. Like, I feel like hard mode with the... So hard mode with like a force that's not top tier, a lower end force to begin with, it can be, you know, kind of a touch and go, can feel like a decent challenge. But a lot of this game comes down to scenario, force selection, and situation. Those are the big three. Those are the big priorities. Because if it's too difficult, or if it's too, if you make it too insurmountable for you, based with those selections you're never you know you don't get to see the late game so you don't get to this armchair position where you get to sit back and say oh well you know uh, you know let me tell you uh, the thing or two about playing this game you don't get to that spot where you get to sit back and just kick it if those choices aren't you don't make good choices on those you know if you go a little if you make it a little too difficult then you're not going to get to that spot right but at the same time, you have to, at least I do, I feel like you have to have an eye for, for how is this going to look. Do I want to take Yin Li or do I want to take Sun Guan? Sun Guan's got that awesome badass portrait. That's all he's contributed to, <laughs> if I'm being honest. He's done nothing but get his ass kicked. Yin Li's actually been more effective for me. You know, Sun Guan is the forest warlord. Uh, let's see. So I don't think we're gonna take the main road. We're gonna cross the. Uh, we're gonna cross the river there, but we're not gonna cross the. Go down the ford pass. So anyway, uh, the difficulty. It's. It's a. It's a tough line. It really is, to find a balance where it's like, how can I be challenged early and then also be challenged, in the late game. Now, if you're fucking, you know, if you're a top tier player, then your the answer is pretty simple for you. You're gonna be on veteran most of the time, you know. Or you could be on extreme, but I think extreme is way too boring. It's you know, you just you don't have enough options. I think maybe nine thousand to hold the road, and then we'll have these three br. Does everybody have volley? They do. Okay. That's important. Maybe not him, but he's not going to go for the, uh, thrifty. See, I like this. It's, it's so weird because Koei's focus is so interesting sometimes. So they create Hao Zhao, and he uses siege weapons and ring formations. Slow formations, right? Very, very slow. It's all siege and ring. And they also give him thrifty, so that supply consumption is decreased. Why? Because he's moving slowly through everything. You know, it's 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 weird where their focus is sometimes. Sometimes they have like I appreciate stuff like that because it you look at it and you're like, huh. They were definitely thinking things through. They really want the extra mile to make sure that the trait, you know, complements the formation. Like you see the wheels turn in there. But and there's insane oversight on other things and that makes you scratch your head you know because it's i don't know but yeah the balancing act is trying to find you know how can i get it how can i get a challenge all the way through and i feel like the unification feature was part of that that was probably part of the uh the design for it you know, to kind of address that. How do you prevent the player just running away with the game? But that's got its own problems. You know, it feels last second kind of shoehorned in. And you really feel it. For You know, when forces just completely throw logic out of the window. To unify. To unify against any threat. Any perceived threat. Forces are so willing to. You know merge together that you basically skip your early game and you go to mid game right away you know it just goes from a small you know a bunch of small little forces to you know what let me check out yay first it goes from a bunch of small little forces to a bunch of mid-sized forces with when you have unification turned on and it happens so sporadically fast
that you kind of lose out on that. Let's send the brothers out. Are there brothers? Do they get along at least? That's a star. That's got to be because it's family. I've never seen that. That's cool. If anybody knows what this is, I really appreciate somebody letting me know in the comments. I'm assuming it's, you know, it's because they're family, but what does that mean? What does family do? Do they have like a much higher chance to link or more damage? All of the above, probably. Okay, so we have two brothers. We have the bodyguard. We have the ace. Good send the actual siege general. South Sea is more of a. It's more like he's more like that kid that's playing around with his dad's expensive toys, right? Sometimes, sometimes something comes out of it, and most of the time, it's just a complete waste. I think Li Dian with Zhang Liao, right? Oh, they don't. All oh, right, the Heifei event makes them all, I think, get along. Zhang Liao, Li Dian, and uh, Yu Jin. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what an army like this will look like. Ten thousand goose. I don't know about that, and that's probably. We don't even have that many. Let's go. We don't even have that many troops. We'd have to leave a guy behind. Uh. Hmm. The odd man out here is Zhang Liao for me. Because I might want to use Li Dian together with South Sea to attack Hu Lao Gate. Which is where this force is going. And so. And like, again, I love the idea of the bodyguard. We also gave him Ubu's weapon, so we're kind of committed. We're kind of married to that to that idea. So if we do something like this, maybe we can send him with what? Maybe six? So we could do ten and ten. Okay. Volley. The only thing is he doesn't have catapult. Oh, I keep forgetting to look that up. I need to find out where catapult is. Supplies we're looking good at at least. Okay. Two routes. It's gonna take forever, so I, I not even a guarantee that we'll get there before the other fight is settled. I don't I don't know. Maybe we can put Jang Liao to uh, recruit. No. We need to call him over to somewhere. I just don't know where. What if we send him with all the troops from Yin Yang? And he just leads a ton of men to attack Luo Yang. Let's do that. That'll be a good... That'll be a hell of a mission for him. Oh, I don't know if he's got the supplies for that. Mm. Okay. Some 30. 80 days. Wow. That is... That's crazy. Much higher chance that we'll actually just have merchants available. Wow. 
Okay, well, let's summon him over there. We'll wait, we'll wait a couple turns before we send them out to let the let the uh, wagon get closer. So it's not too big of a period, so it doesn't get too risky supply line wise. But that'll be cool. We'll send him with fifteen thousand, however many he can carry. He's gonna be moving, so let's put Su Juan. So yeah, the playthrough that really came comes to my mind right away is the two playthroughs I've done to completion. One is the Liu Kui playthrough, and the other one's the. Uh, Ooh, I can't think of his name right now. What is what is that guy's name? Zeng Zeng Chun playthrough, which was the Wavering Han playthrough, first playthrough I did on the channel. Those were on veteran, and they were consistently a struggle all the way through. Okay, wait till next turn. We'll send out this uh, our Wu army. And that's the thing with the game, it's just, and it's, I'm not really complaining about it, it's kind of fun to find the balance because I feel like, you know, different forces and different scenarios, there's so many different ways to rank, there's so many interesting situations too beyond just the typical, uh, oh, play with Yan Bayu in 194, you know, if you want a challenge, uh, play as, uh, you know, Kong Rong in this setting, blah, 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 you know. The, the ones that everybody says every as the years roll by and the different games come out the ones that people are just like these are the easy ones to figure out in terms of challenge like yeah we always have those but I feel like this one really lends itself to have a lot more creativity where you can really fine-tune a challenge and uh, it's a shame that the game doesn't have a bigger um, I'm not going to say bigger community because it's it's bigger in Asia, but a bigger English community where people can really, you know, discuss what kind of challenges or ideas, you know? Alright, so we lost that one. Looks like Zhang Fei made landfall. And <laughs> that was it. You can see his chalk outline. You know, all the way there. I'm about to head to Janu uh, January, so 214. We're almost at Heifei. 215, I think, is Heifei. Okay, all our sea force is ready. Oh, you know what? Let's... Should I should I wait two more turns? I kind of wanted to. I kind of wanted to uh, marry off Kai Yan to... Uh, go high and it's probably dumb give him the supportive trait give her the supportive trait she doesn't have enough years of service but in two turns she will she'll be two years I feel like we should send them now. Okay, so let's see. We don't need these guys here anymore. We, I think we can send both father and son across. Yeah. Okay. Well, we could leave them and have them assault. Shoshun. But then what would this horse look like without these two? It would be cool. Hi. This guy just doesn't have the formations for anything really. Ring formation, that's about it. But to attack. Actually, Snake. 
I think everything around Jianye is mountainous. Mountain path. So that would count. Huh. What a, a weird situation, but yeah, it would. He would get the bonus. Okay, I guess we'll send them with, this, with the sea party. Time to bring his stuff to the shipyard. Bring his belongings. Kiss the mainland goodbye. May not see it for a while. Alright, our siege guy is going to be soon Lee. That's not too bad, but... I feel like it's risky without sending huge in. So we'd be leaving behind Su Guan one lane. That force that we're leaving behind might be enough to attack. To attack Xiu Shun. Tian Yu should have a steamer charge surprise attack. Restrained last longer. Definitely lends himself to his goose formation. Uh, let's see if I can give him up. If we can find somewhere to promote him to. We can carry a few more soldiers. Mm, I don't see any openings. Oh, never mind. There's one. That's going to be a huge Goose formation. Well, I do like Goose. I wish there was... I wish it was a bit more effective. Not too effective. We don't want, like... Romance 9 levels of... Effectiveness. With Bowman, but... Maybe a little bit faster? I'm not sure. Something. I feel like it needs... It needed a little something else. Is he's a recruiter. Alright, we'll send him to. We can find somebody else to help uh, Eugene. Be subordinate for the Eugene's on the mainland. Alright, this catapult's probably going to take an eternity. That's a lot of Bowman. Let's do like 10. That's an overcorrection and go from 8,000 to 12. Okay, he's going to be leading the main force. We need volley. Everyone should have volley. Actually, flame's not bad either. Okay. Okay, so she's got afflicted with status ailments. The period is lengthened. Okay. When male units within a specific range are inflicted with status ailments, is that positive or negative ailments? Mm, 
we're gonna have to give her some let's give her some uh, abilities done it might be both Intelligence is 76, which is not too high, but... So let's see. Does she have Inspire? Do we have Inspire? We don't. We have Rally. Strength-based. Oh, this might put us over. I didn't know. I did not notice that. But. Now let's do disturb. Okay, keep getting distracted. Different things. Uh, what do we do here? I would like to strengthen siege. Well, we're already at level nine, actually. That's as high as it's gonna get. So we could go with Battle for Goose. Or we can go with our Supply Line. I think Supply Line. If we have somebody. There it is. Okay, so let's give her a title. Everything's full? Hmm. Gonna have to fire somebody. Uh, this guy. Okay. Now let's finally. Six thousand. Tian Yu, Guo Hai, Sun Li, Wan Ling, and then Kai Yan. Ten thousand. Oof. Restrained and volley. Wally, definitely. I was kind of thinking all formation, but no, I don't I don't expect really anything to happen. But the situation would like would call for something like that. War cry, okay. Demolish is increased. Either one of those two works. We could even send them in goose formation, but... Oh, you can't use any tactics in all formation. That's right. Damn. That's... I mean, we could just have her anyway just for her passives. Cure, calm, you know, I mean... I know I just gave her all those tactics, but... I think just having her with our units here... Um, her effect from status elements... That might not go off too much, but instrumentalist just being able to cut consistently increase morale is, is key. And then poetic. So these two are whenever, you know, 
bonuses, but this is the main deal, instrumentalist. Alright, let's see how long it takes for us to get there. Oof. Two months. Fine. 49,000. We didn't even send too many. I was in in my mind it was this huge insurmountable force, but no, nah, it wasn't that. Zap. I don't even know what he's doing over there. Let's just make sure we have enough supplies for this journey. Twenty thousand. I would let's get somebody over here to drill. Take these last two. Wakata. Yeah, so I'm thinking we could send Zhang Liao out by himself. One man army. It's already here. It could help with the core, actually. This guy, we should have put him on one too. I forget that the bonus, the geographic advantage of Kong Rong makes it so that you guys can be out doing whatever. And it really doesn't, uh, it like, because of that bonus, it's negligible. You still get to color, uh, suppress the territory or color the land, however you want to look at it. But you still get suppression, it's really, really effective. It's bonkers effective still. Ooh, wait. Searching Jin Yang, really? Okay. Let's take a look. Alright, so we got three big armies. Reasonable. I'd still like to do a Three Kingdom scenario for just that reason on, on the channel. Just so you guys can see some humongous forces clashing. My favorite part of the Three Kingdoms actually is the, um, I mean, outside of the lore and whatever's happening, but the fact that you get to manage multiple fronts. That's an item that's in Jinyang. We're already about to head on. Wow. Coming out from behind our fortifications. Morale's really low. Did we not drill? Oh, we didn't. Okay. Okay, now I don't know if I can mediate while they're deployed. I don't think so. That'd be something. No, okay. They got married on the road while they're marching to, for, to war. I'm sure it's happened in some kind of romanticized novel or something. And in history, I'm sure, right? Sabotage Shoshun. I guess we'll do that. Doesn't really do anything. We should. It's more effective, but.
Yeah, so I guess we'll start building an army here to assault Shoshun. So I don't want to waste uh, Yu Jin. It's the past time we get a recruiter up here also. Let's see, I know we have... This is it. Okay, I thought we had more people kind of sitting around. Summoner, okay. Okay, let's keep searching for that item. Whatever it is, I think we're... Eh, it's getting there. Let's deploy him. Oh, you know what? I don't know if we're going to get a rank promotion. I don't think so. Grand Minister. I think we have a we need a lot more. I think we need a lot more territories. It's not going to hurt to wait one more turn, I guess. All deployed, okay. Zhang Liao's 12, okay. Yeah, let's wait one more turn, just in case I'm wrong. But I think you need much more. Maybe like five more cities before you can get Grand Minister. That's another thing too, I feel like ranks are really, are a little bit, they take a bit too long to attain in this one. Uh, I don't even know. I'm thinking to let them go, honestly. Yeah, we'll let them go. Disease. I don't think you could put up the severity of the plague, but I think you can only put up how frequently it occurs. Fifty-eight. It's, it's only fifty-nine, actually. It's not much more. Fifty-three. Wow. Okay. But I do feel like plague should be one of those things that should be a lot more severe than it used to be in uh, some of the older romances. The generals would get sick too. I don't know if I've seen that happen in this one. No. Yeah, it used to be that the generals would get sick also. Different degrees, you know, so you could get kind of like lightly wounded, wounded, severely, all that. So you could get, the sickness could vary. And it was a lot more interesting that way because sometimes, you know, some of your guys, some of your better generals that you need for things, they'd just be out with the sickness. You know, out with the flu. Well, there was nothing you could do about it. Wow. Who has completely <laughs> this is this is gonna cut it in half so you're gonna have uh, East Wu and West Wu 
You're not gonna have these two for very long. If I have a, anything to do with it. Okay, let's see if we have a train proposal for that city there. Nope, that's not P. There it is. It's yeah, P. Raise morale. Let's do that. Okay, I don't see any help coming yet, so. Okay, so I think with Hao Zhao we'll grab Feng Kui and then we'll work our way down towards Guandu. Since we're gonna get in front of uh, Huolao Gate with, with our main force, with, nah, I don't know if it's our main force, but with our liege, the Sao brothers are gonna besiege uh, Huolao, which that's gonna be rough. Okay, so we'll have these guys encroach. What direction do we put Su Huang, I think? I think right down here. And we should have actually put an overseer over here. He never took it. I had always assumed Sao Ren would take it back, but he never did. He never took a lot of these back. I guess there are no position to contest it? I don't know. Yeah, why not? Let's let's put them on something. Like I said, the geographic advantage you still get so many hexes. We got the merchant up there before the uh, be far before the wagon get up got over here as I was figuring what happened. One of the opportunities I think they missed out on is the I don't know if opportunity is the right word for it, but they could have allowed you to trade with Japan so they could have had something I don't know where I honestly don't know where because you have India down here um, Parthia Rome yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't know where, but they could have had something right here so that you could trade with Japan. I mean, they weren't a great empire, but still. I think that's how they had advertised it, trade with the great empires. You know, the other great empires on the continent, but you could have still had trading with Japan. I think that would have been cool. And they used to have um, a way for you to interact with with them in uh, Romance 9. They were one of the featured barbarians. Fought with magic and all that. Probably didn't want to deal with the... Uh, well, it seems like all this whole area was an inconvenience for them, considering the hexes, how they handled the sea hexes. Plate damage.
Fantastic item. I'd really prefer some officers. Okay, so he's going to get here first. How much gold do we have coming in? None. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay, well, we'll keep searching, see what this item is. Hoping for a mount. It's one of my favorite things to do is to give. I don't know who this guy is. Gong Sun Wang. Never seen this guy before. He only mentioned he was Gong Sun Yuan's brother when he named himself king. Unselfish. be a new officer added in the um, either in this version or in the expansion oh this is gonna be a tough fight it's not gonna be so cut and dry as I thought wouldn't have it any other way it's the capital after all let's see Sun Kuan's here Ganning is here Tai Chi Tsi wow we might be uh, we might be sending another force Might need a second force. I completely forgot that we sent Liang Si back here. Could have had him doing something this whole time. Okay. Oh, we'll probably need to add more officers to Guanling. We we'll need more fighting, fighting men if we're gonna invade over here. Some units are deployed. Let's let's send out Yu Jin just in case they're heading this way, which I doubt, but. All we can see is they're deployed. Just in case. Okay. I think that's good. Let's end the turn. But yeah, I'd really like to do a Three Kingdom one on the channel, either as Sun Kuan or um, Liu Bei. I just don't know how to how to work around the beginning of it. I might start it like a couple months in because you know the beginning of it is pretty slow. All you're doing is building up. Liu Bei, is it me? Just making this move against Liu Bei looks like. Then where's this guy going? Kokoni. Shochista. Mm -hmm. 
ships are going so slow. So might as well build a camp. We don't have a siege weapon here, that could be a problem. 19,000. Chen Lin with the tower, that's about it. Honestly, it would take too long anyway. Almost got it. Okay, let's just search. See if we can unearth that item. Decrease morale. Drain. All right. <laughs> there it is. Ten intelligence. Reliance with Sao Xiang. Uh, wow, that is a lot of stuff. I guess we'll extend it. I mean, taking everything around them, but still. Get some more supplies. Okay, we're just getting there. So Zhang's setting up the camp. He's so grateful that, you know, not only do we spare him, but we just welcome them back into the family. Back into the... Back into the fold with open arms. He's like, not only am I going to get there first, I'll make the camp. You know? I was at the dinner table. We go to Guangdu because then we'll be stuck in the woods. I don't don't know about that. Then we could pivot from Guangdu to Weixi and take the road. Let's go because from here we can make the decision. We can go right or left. So. need an overseer here for these two new spaces. Let's get some people on here. 
Nine is the best that we have. Alright. Supplies, nope, we're okay. Lidian, he's recruiting. Oh, he's training. Okay, that's alright. At this point, I'm thinking we might be able to attack the city. Catapult. Oof. Oh. Might take the pressure off. Well, you know what? Let's give him some more. Okay. Might take the pressure off of Liu Bei. Let's wait, wait for him, I guess. I was gonna go on ahead, but there's some killers out in the field, and if they change direction, I don't want to be caught. Let's see if there's another city recommendation now that we found the book. Jin Yang again. Oh shit. So far we found the plus 10 intelligence. I wonder what else is there. The fleet's almost here. Shang Liao is just going to make landfall with like 12,000 men and just go crazy on Luoyang. You know, we're going to be battering the gates, but Shang Liao is just going to show up. Totally catch him off guard. Okay, almost there. <laughs> Alright guys, well... Uh, that's gonna be it for this one On the next one we'll get to finally get some of these fights going this one's been most mostly positioning uh, But that's how it is with this game. It takes a little bit of time To get everything going and then when you're not a super fast, you know Or even that fast. I'd say my speed. I'm pretty normal It takes even longer. So I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this uh, let's play uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Especially if anybody knows about that sibling thing, the link, the star symbol there. What it actually affects. I'd really appreciate to know what that, what the hell that does. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, take care.